All right, there we go. It says poor connection. Shouldn't shouldn't be poor, poor connection from where I am, but it, it is for some reason. Uh, so what up guys? I just left this really little shop. There it is right there. It says huge tag sale and more. Um, there's a sign up there. You can't even see it. It says Torrington Pickers, but this isn't Torrington Pickers. They actually moved across town. This is another little shop that I found. So I just went in there and I started digging. I actually asked if they had any video games, right? And uh, to my surprise, he did. Now, for the disc-based games, he wanted seven bucks a piece, no matter what they were, even if they were like Madden 06, he wanted seven bucks a piece. And for the cartridge-based games, he wanted $10 a piece. No bargaining, would not even come down a dollar. If I bought a hundred games, I, I told him, I'm like, what if I buy everything? He's like, and I don't know how many games they were, and he just started adding up. He was like, 10, 10, 10. I'm like, okay, never mind. He would not barter at all. So I just grabbed the best ones off the top of my head. There were a couple Sega Genesis games in the box, no manual. Good games like Dick Tracy. Um, I can't think of the others. There were a few others. They're worth around 15 bucks loose. He wanted 10. They had the box, no manual. I decided to pass on it. But I want to show you guys everything I got in these, uh, in my bag and in this lantern here. Uh, if you're watching right now, leave a comment. Let me know how the how the quality is. It says poor connection. I don't know how well you can see me. I'm a little concerned about that, but let me know how it looks. And we're going to jump right into it. I'm actually going to set you guys up. I'm trying to find a good spot. I'll just hold you guys. Whatever. How's it going? So... First and foremost, I got some lanterns. I always see Bonafide Hustler talking about lanterns, right? So I bought this one right here. The brand is Dietz, D-I-E-T-Z, I believe. I got that little one and I got this bigger one, right? Ian says very blurry, Nightwing says a little blurry. Well, once it uploads, it shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, and I got this one, it's a bigger one, should be good. Uh, I paid 10 bucks a piece for those and yeah, I know he puts them in his antique booth, but I looked on eBay and these things are actually pretty light surprisingly if you bubble wrap them enough put them in a big enough box Only a couple pounds should be okay looked on eBay They seem to be going for between 40 and 50 dollars plus shipping. So I paid 10 a piece They seem to sell pretty fast. These ones are good models. There's a whole bunch of different kinds so we're just gonna have to, to see exactly what happens there. Next, he had two of these guys, but I only got one and I'll tell you why. This is John Cena. They're called uh, Brawlin' Buddies. I've seen, uh, what's her face? Lindy Glenn actually picks these up and she sells them on eBay, I believe. Now he's actually not restricted collectible on Amazon, even though a lot of stuffed animals and toys are, he's not. There's also a Rey Mysterio one in there and that one's not worth anything. Almost all the others are worth nothing. But this guy on eBay, it looks like a, a stain on his chest, but that's not a stain. There's just um, some hair and crap there I got to pull off. Um, this guy should go for close to $30 used. So not too shabby. Paid five bucks for him. I got him to throw in a remote for free. He was not a bargainer. He did not like to bargain at all. There was a kid in there trying to buy postcards. He must sell them on eBay. And he wanted 40 bucks for the box and he would not budge. And the kid's like, I'll give you 35. He's like, no, no, no. You could get $5 a piece for those. He's like, no, you can't. Uh, I'm just going to dig through them and find the good ones. And he's like, $40. And the kid caved and gave him 40 bucks for a box of postcards. I don't think there was that much money worth in those cards. I really don't. Um, but I got this LG. This is going for about 15 ish dollars, which that's not bad. It was free. So should be good for eBay. And now the video games. I wish I didn't have to hold this. Um, I'm going to see if I could set this up. Sorry guys. There we go. It's the best I can do. So now the video games. First, we got Zelda Majora's Mask, the holographic front. See how he moves on there? Now, this was 10 bucks. There is an issue with this though. As you can tell, it's taped 
on the sides, so it obviously got broken open. So I gotta make sure it works. The back's in horrible, horrible, horrible shape, but for 10 bucks, it's still a good find. Um, the bottom's all broken. It looks like a kid dropped it or something. There's a big crack right there. It's in rough shape, but for 10 bucks, this game still does well. Um, I'll clean it up, do the best I can. I really don't know what I can really do. If there was a way to get a new back for it, just another gold game. There are a few games that have gold backs. Um, I might be able to order one, but I don't know. So that's not bad for 10 bucks. Don't know what these games, what the values are. Just know that they're all worth more than 10 bucks. Got Donkey Kong 64. Take a sports game and use the screws. Oh, that's actually a great idea. So yeah, I'll think about that. Thank you. Got Donkey Kong 64 right here. This one's in very good, very clean shape. Now I did pay 10 bucks for each one of these. Banjo Kazooie, clean shape. Mario Party 3, this is actually the most expensive Mario Party game. This should go for about 75 to 80 dollars on Amazon FBA. Oh, it's in good shape. Needs to be cleaned for sure. You can tell it's a little dirty. This one's worth more than Banjo Kazooie. It's Banjo Tooie. And somebody had gotten it for two bucks at Goodwill. So what a good find for whoever got it there. But this shop had it and I had to pay 10. And then for the Super Nintendo games, Tooie is 40 bucks. There we go. Super Mario All Stars. Um, player's Choice, Nintendo, Million Seller, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, it's in decent shape. The back is a little worn. There's some gunk and stuff on that needs to be washed off. So that's okay. A little gunky under there, but the pins look clean. That's what matters. You guys, here is the best score. If you look at the back, the back's in horrible shape. It's going to be tough, but I need to clean all of that off because the game itself is worth some good money. Actually, you know, I think the Mario Party 3 is actually the best score, but this is a really good score. Zombies ate my neighbors. When I reached into the bag, this was actually the very first game I pulled out. I was like, oh man, this is going to be a jackpot bag. And then he said he wanted 10 bucks a piece. So I was like, ah, damn it. Yeah, I, I'm probably actually just going to change the back on this. Uh, no, you can't change the back. I don't believe because it it says the year of the game. I don't know. I'm going to try and clean it first, but then I'll change. Actually, let's compare. Oh, no, it doesn't say the year of the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'll just change the back because this one's in really, really, really rough shape. I wish he was charging a buck or so for sports games, but he's not, so I can't really bargain there, sadly. Um, so not too shabby. I spent 95 bucks total. 95 bucks total, which really is not that bad. I'm pretty happy with that, mostly because I know for a fact video games sell well. Uh, that Brawlin' Buddy had a good rank on Amazon. And um, the Lanterns are the one thing I'm kind of winging, because I want to try something with them. Um, I'm going to put them up on eBay, of course, see what happens with them. I'm thinking the bigger guys should go for about 50 plus shipping. Uh, so I'll probably list it at like $69.99 free shipping uh, or best offer and see what I can do there depending on where the person lives. I like to put best offer on these older random things because if the person lives a couple states away, I'll usually accept their offer because shipping will be so cheap. If they live in California or something, I know the shipping is going to be very expensive since I live in Connecticut. So I will figure that out. And also we got uh, the smaller one, not 100% sure what I will list that at. But probably, you know, around the same, same-ish price, maybe $59.99 or best offer. So, thank you, Lisa. But I'm heading out now, guys. I'm going to go home and just get some uh, listing done. Talk to you later. Peace out.